After first joining PDIP in 2004, Widodo ran in the mayoral race in Surakarta in 2005 with FX Hadi Rudyatmo as his running mate, with the support of PDIP and the National Awakening Party. 35-36 The pair won 36.62 of the vote against the incumbent Slamit Suryando and two other candidates. During the campaign, many questioned his background as a property and furniture businessman. However, one academic paper claimed his leadership style was successful because it established an interactive relationship with the people, through which he was able to induce people's strong faith in him. 37 He adopted the development framework of European cities which he frequently traveled to as a businessman as a guide for changes in Surakarta. His notable policies as mayor include 39 building new traditional markets and renovating existing markets, constructing a 7 km city walk with a 3 meter wide pedestrian walkway along Surakarta's main street, revitalizing the Balagambang and Sri Wedari parks employing stricter regulations on cutting down trees along the city's main streets, rebranding the city as a center of Javanese culture and tourism under the tagline The Spirit of Java, promoting the city as a center for meetings, incentives, conventions and exhibitions MICE, launching healthcare and education insurance program for all residents, a local bus rapid transit system named Batik Solo Trans and a Solo Techno Park which helped support the Izmka Indonesian car project. It was during his tenure as mayor that he conducted the Blusukan, an impromptu visit to specific areas to listen to people's issues, which proved popular later in his political career. He also prohibited his family members from bidding for city projects, therefore suppressing the risk of corruption. His policies brought him into conflict with then-provincial Governor Bibit Waluyo who on one occasion called Widodo a fool for the latter's opposition to a provincial construction project in Surakarta. His supporters pointed to rapid positive changes in Surakarta under his leadership and the city's branding with the motto Solo, the spirit of Java. While in office, he successfully relocated antique stalls in the Banjarsari Gardens without incident, a helpful move in revitalizing the functions of the open green land he emphasized the importance of business firms engaging in community activities he improved communications with the local community by appearing regularly on local television. As a follow-up of the city's new branding, he applied for Surakarta to become a member of the Organization of World Heritage Cities, which was approved in 2006, and subsequently had the city chosen to host the organization's conference in October 2008. Citation needed in 2007, Surakarta had also hosted the World Music Festival Festival Musique Dunia FMD, held at the complex of Fort Weissenberg near the center of the city. The following year, it was held in the Mangunagran Palace complex. Citation needed part of Widodo's style was his populist can do gay elements designed to build bonds with the broad electorate. 37 As mayor, he became personally involved in an incident just before Christmas 2011 when the Surakarta municipality had overdue bills of close to 1 million 8 Indonesian rupees. 9 billion owed to the state-owned electricity company Perusahan Lestrik Negara PLN. Citation needed following its policy of pursuing a more disciplined approach to collecting overdue bills, it imposed a blackout on street lights in the city just before Christmas. The city government quickly authorized payment, but in settling the bill, protested that the PLN should consider the public interest before taking such action. To reinforce the point, we Dodo made a highly publicized personal visit to the local PLN office to deliver the 8 Indonesian rupees. 9 billion in cash in the form of hundreds of bundles of notes and even small coins. In 2010, he was re-elected for a second term, again running with Hadi. They won 90. 09 of the vote, losing in only a single polling station. 43 He was later chosen as the Tempo leader of choice by Tempo News Magazine 2008 and received a Changemakers Award from Republic Newspaper 2010 His name also started being considered in national polls for the governorship of Jakarta, long before PDIP's nomination, including those by University of Indonesia and Cyrus Network 2011.
In 2012, Widodo faced a smear campaign after declaring his intention to run for the governorship of Jakarta. 44 A group calling itself Save Solo, Save Jakarta and Save Indonesia Team TS3 reported him to the Corruption Eradication Commission KPK for allegedly having facilitated misuse of education funds by his subordinates in Surakarta in 2010. The KPK investigated the allegation, found it was based on false data and said there was no indication Widodo had misappropriated funds. Indication Widodo